Yeah, we're uh, going to look at some real estate. We're with a PR company in the energy field. We're interested in getting this apartment to entertain our clients. You forgot to shave half your face. Yeah, well, that's too <laughs> late to do anything about it now. My name is Andy. I'm one half of the Yes Men. I care about a lot of things, including climate change. And that's why for our new movie, I had to go to Uganda via Dubai. Are you nervous about going to Uganda? They're not going to kill gay foreigners, are they? Um, they think that gay foreigners are the ones causing oh, homosexuality right. there. Yeah. Hello. Gay foreigners don't go to Uganda. Two men are in trial. They seduced males into having sex with them. In the taxi from the airport, there was only one subject I really didn't want to talk about. So Mike made sure that we did. Have you heard of any of this stuff about um, the sort of hate crimes here? against gays, because we hear a lot about that in America. Everyone is against it, and uh, people don't like it at all. Right. These people have money, so they give out to the young boys, mostly, and then they join. So they sort of recruit? Yeah, they recruit. Uh -huh. Once you're out as a homo, you're not welcome to the society. That's why they keep themselves in their private life. They don't come up. Hey. Yes, man, I you back. Oh, oh, so good to see you. <laughs> yes, man's going well. Is sure? Yeah, yeah, tiring. <laughs> tiring. Yeah. Our activist friends were taking us to the countryside so we could see the effects of climate change for ourselves. But I couldn't get that kill the gaze law out of my mind. I just didn't know what to do. But Mike had a plan that was very intelligent, at least for a straight guy. Okay, so what I'm wondering is, Albert, you think I can wear this today? Why not? You think it's okay? You look nice. Is it, is it macho enough? Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you saw this, if you saw me walking around, would you think that I was gay? I actually had not yet known that uh, this is a man and this is a man. <laughs> if I give it a deeper view, this is pure gay. <laughs> <laughs> you are just not a promoter, but you are in practice. You gay? Mike's joke was weird, but Albert's reaction was weirder. I had to bite the bullet. I was just hoping it wouldn't be a literal bullet. I'm, I'm too old. I'm no, too no, old. I've got kids already. already. And one wife, and no. it's enough. No. I think so. He's even tired. <laughs> hey, that's taking a little too far. You're 42, right? I'm going to be 45. You're supposed to have at least five. <laughs> Which I know. Wow. <laughs> but the professor is getting you great. Yeah? He's told me he doesn't have a kid. <laughs> why? Why? The professor should tell us why. The professor does have to tell you. Go yeah. ahead, professor. Hmm. It's just an awkward subject in Uganda. Hmm, no, I don't think so. It's really awkward. <laughs> no, but it's fine. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, it's because I'm gay. What's that? <laughs> he thinks it's a joke. It must have been a hard question coming from here. You are right, it's not something you just say anywhere. What we know about Uganda mm -hmm. in the West is pretty yeah. much the kill the gays bill. Yeah. And yeah. we came here to talk about climate change, of course, and all that. <laughs> but then I was like, I can't not do something about it. Professor, yes. you really have to elucidate on that. To elucidate? Explain more about it. <laughs> Which part of, of gay? <laughs> But the why? Yeah, the whole concept. I, I wanted answer. to take it into the practical aspect. Yeah. To avoid theorizing. <laughs> I've been wondering, if I'm to have sex with Peter, yeah. what do I actually do? Really? 
You want me to explain? <laughs> I can I can explain if you want. <laughs> man. man. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite complex <laughs> for you. <laughs> yeah, you want to try it? You get it? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Coming out to my activist friends had just brought us closer. But they're activists, of course they're going to be open-minded. What about an average Ugandan homophobe? Would it do any good to come out to one of them? I think you should do it. Might as well, right? Yeah, oh yeah. At the beginning of the trip, when we first met you, we asked you some questions about homosexuality. Coming here was a big struggle for me because I'm gay. And I was like, oh my God, I can't go there. They have all these crazy ideas about gays, but the ideas are not correct. We don't recruit. People are either gay or not gay. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Sorry. No, 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 no. We asked you because we knew that a lot of Ugandans feel that way. So. And, and sometimes we just say it just because we don't know. Yeah. We just hear from people who yeah. tell us who are not even a uh, part of it. I'm sorry for that. Oh, no, no, no. Anyways, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Everybody could do what feels like is good for him. It's so close to me. Because it's like, you know, it could be me. I mean, I spent like, until I was 15, like completely denying it. And then when I was 19, this boy touched me and it was instant, like it was all over. It was just like, oh yeah, okay, great. <laughs> he just put his hand on my waist. That doesn't mean that you were recruited though, does it? Well, I might have. I mean, so I was yeah. recruited. I yeah. was, yeah, I definitely was. <laughs>